Hey everybody, it's Emily Rigsby, and today I'm going to show you how I use Dropbox. So, there is a web version of Dropbox, and I do go into it a lot, but I also have it um, downloaded on my computer, which is this lovely little symbol up here in the corner, um, so that I can easily access files um, like they're exactly on my computer. But um, the way that I have my Dropbox set up is um, I have a RTS file for each style. RTS in my head just means ready to sell. Um, I do that just so that it puts all of them, all of those files together because I have other files around it and I just want all of my inventory to be in one area together. So within... Um, each of those folders, I have I have all of my um, my inventory, and I name it by the size, the style, and then the print. And I don't always use the exact name because I'm not really good with remembering all of them. <laughs> but that way, it kind of chunks all of my larges together and all of my mediums together and all my smalls and all my extra larges, just so I kind of have a grasp of what I have on hand. And then when I sell something, I move, I move it. So I'll go here and I'll click on move. And then I'll move that to my sold file, which is down here. So I have, you know, things that I've sold in there. Now, what I would highly suggest is downloading um, the, the program to your computer so that what you can also do when you want to upload something. Um, let's go to the hive. <laughs> we'll go to the hive. Or we'll go to my group. We'll go to my group. Oops. Say I wanted to upload a photo, okay? Let's come in here and create an album. So now I can go to Dropbox here, and it takes me to exactly what I have on my, on my web screen. So you can put it in order, and it, it'll be in order the exact same way that it is on the web. So then I can just upload from there. So if I wanted to upload Angela's, I would just pull all of these and then upload them all. And I would click open and upload all of them. Um, the reason that I chose to do it through Dropbox instead of iPhotos was that for some reason it seems to, like I think that I'm deleting an item, but some for some reason it's still there. Um, and I was just really worried about making sure that I don't duplicate um, photos because I don't want to oversell an item that's really important to me. So that is the way that I have chose to run my photos, and it's working well for me so far. Aloha.